Uh, it was kind of a lazy day because it's the day after 4th of July and we both were at uh, extended parties. That was a party for six hours. Oh, my God. No, and, I couldn't do that. And uh, a lot of kids. And, uh, but my, I will say my, I, I made, okay, I made green chili. The chicken was organic. The, uh, the green chilies were organic and the beans were organic. But I didn't buy organic chicken broth, which I should have. I could have touted the whole thing as organic. Okay. Isn't that great? That's fabulous, Paul. Um, well, this Penny's Hill isn't organic. But uh, this, it, no, this stuff. But it is sustainable. <laughs> and I, these these guys are making some great is wines in Australia. Yeah. Okay, so sustainable, folks, is a, is a holistic approach to winemaking. It includes uh, water reclamation. It includes organic principles in the farm. Composting. It, it includes prevailing wage for workers. It's the whole HR thing is included in this thing. It's a little bit different than the rest, like organic and biodynamic, I mean, just farming techniques and manufacturing techniques. I'll tell you, this this wine is really, I really impressive. I, I, I mean, freaked it's out. It's very, very impressive wine. I freaked out when I got this. I would never guess Australia because it, it, you know, it's not over the top. It's not high in alcohol. Okay, so listen to this. Yesterday we're at this party. Knows. And I'm talking to a priest, the father of the Catholic Armenian Catholic Church. He loves wine. And we're talking, and he says... What do you think of the Australian wines? I said, I haven't seen much lately because our business, as you know, it, it kind of ebbs and flows with what's out there for sale, right? Right. They, if there's Australians popular, we get them. If they're not, we don't get them. And we haven't seen much lately. And then I got this one, and I was freaking out because it was so good. And the source of it was weird. It was like a, a Sonoma-based uh, wine consortium, which I thought was strange to get Australian wines from. But then the priest says, did you know in the back of this yard, what kind of tree there is. I go, no, I didn't. He goes, let me show you. So he takes me back, and there's a cork tree, this huge cork tree, like a trunk like right, this. Right, well, that's, they are big. It's huge, and it's in the middle of Pasadena. <laughs> <laughs> and he's taking the bark off, and he's holding it and squishing it, and he takes it back to the back to the table we're sitting at. He's like, look at you guys, this is cork. I said, reminds me of my cork plug that I got from Sanders uncle, who made synthetic corks. But when he went to Portugal, they gave him a piece of the bark that they had actually removed. Right. So anyway, oh, that he, notwithstanding, with the rest of it, he made some shoes. That, and that notwithstanding, uh, try and find a cork in, in a New Zealand wine. You'll never find it. Probably and it's not. starting to get away with Australian wines. And if you notice, this is sort of a quality version of the this Stelvin. Is, this is phenomenal wine, though. You I mean, almost took is, out your corkscrew to did this thing out of here. I know, it because it, it, it didn't look like a screw like cap. A screw cap. Now we'll get to the wine, Ed. Thank you. Whew. This is a great bottle of wine. I mean, 30 bucks is a phenomenal price. This is very, very serious stuff. Because if this had a Napa Valley price tag on it, it would be 60 Wow, I should have taken this yesterday. Mm. Now, we have two vintages of this we were able to procure. Right. And this is one of them. Uh, the 15 is coming out next. But this is, I, I think, they're both fascinating. Phenomenal wine. And Absolutely. McLaren Vale just makes big, dense, huge Cabernets, and that's what this is. Well, they, it is and it isn't. Don't, you know, it's got a lot I of... I keep saying that, and I'm getting confused. Well, then just be quiet and listen for a change. <laughs> this wine is relatively large in the mouth, but it doesn't finish with, you know, syrup in the back. It finishes nice and clean. It does. It's very tight. You know, and spicy. And, wow. And and exact. And that's what you want. You don't you don't want something that feels like you just had some, you know a dose of sugar. Talk about you know. bite, dry, you know, cassis and dried fruit. This is cassis phenomenal. and dried fruit right there. I love the nose though. You know, the nose is just really really good. I just still it's befuddling. It came from uh, a Sonoma Valley co-op. They had nothing to do with making this, but they had it in their inventory for some reason. Oh well, it's wine business. You want you want sense. Yeah. Go find something else. <laughs> okay, I'm at a 98 on that. I think the wine's absolutely delicious. Exactly. Yeah. What I was and for say. 15.99 reorder price, I should have taken that last night. People would have freaked out.